Welcome to MCOM Solutions, Jake here. So today we're gonna to talk Metastatic firmware and two primary reasons why I think you should keep it up to date. Uh, along with that, your end user device, your phone, whatever you're using, you should also keep that application up to date. Just for one, those two things are gonna help in a relative sense, remove some of the issues maybe you are experiencing. First big thing is security, right? If you're not aware when they went from the 2.4 series of firmware to the 2.5 series of firmware, they added in public keys. Now, now what this does for you is if you have, you keep the long fast default channel and you see another node up on your list and you want to send that person a direct message, there's public keys attached to that and it gives you, you know, a relatively private conversation with that individual. Um, if you see, and how do you know this, right? If you're looking at your application and you see, and I'll show an image here in the video, you see that you, you probably maybe noticed that lock feature on there. There's a little locking when you go in your node list and if it's green and it's locked, they're running, they have the public keys, right? They're running the 2.5 and are above. If it's yellow and unlocked, most likely they're running the 2.4 and below. Now, can you still message them? Yes. Um, and I'll, I got a little caveat to that here in a second. Um, but there's no public key there. So that's in essence kind of just an out in the air message that could be very easily uh, intercepted. Uh, if you don't care, then that's on you. But if you do care, uh, update your firmware. <laughs> now, I did have a comment recently on one of my videos, ex uh, Expanding Your Mistastic Network, about this individual situation was they were, uh, I believe he didn't give firmware versions, but he said he recently updated the latest version. So I assume 2.5.20, and this is February, 2025 as of doing this video. Um, that's the latest stable version out there, beta stable. And he could no longer, because he was seeing over uh, like a hundred nodes in his local area that he'd picked up before and had built up in his node list, right? He could no longer see any of those nodes. And that got me thinking, I was like, well, that's when I was home back in Washington state in January, I did a lot of traveling in and around and I picked up a lot of nodes while I was in and around that area. And I noticed that it seemed like almost the majority of those nodes maybe 50, 50, you know, I didn't do the, you know, I didn't count, uh, were, had the yellow unlocked lock icon on the node list versus, you know, maybe the other half had the green. So, but I could still see them. So I was like, okay, you know, that's interesting that he was no longer able to see it. So I took my, my SenseCap T1000E and rolled it back to 2.4 version and connected to an end user device, my one of my phones, and then I had another radio set up connected to my other phone with the 2.5.20, um, both up and on and running. When I updated this one and then connected to the app, I could I could no longer see that radio that was on, even though I'd been connected to it before, and you know I'd done some testing messages back and forth. So I sent a message just through the long fast channel and that radio received it. And then I sent a message from that radio back, you know, in the same long fast channel and this radio received it. On that radio in the Metastatic app, I could see this node, but on this one through the app, I could not. Only thing I could think of there is the, if the app version, maybe, cause I'm, I'm no programmer or anything like that, the app version now, because it's updated recently, I think it's updated several times since they've went to the 2.5, um, just because it's not really that compatible. I mean, it still works, but not maybe some bug issues there with the 2.5 series firmware. So another reason for better user experience, keeping those things up to date. So this can be frustrating and I understand. If you've experienced this or something similar, please put a comment down below. I'd love to start a conversation, a telegram group, you know, over there. Link will, of course, be down below as always. You, we can have discussions there too. 
uh, about it. But in all in all, if you want a better user experience with Meshtastic, keep your, your um, devices updated. And if you, you know, I can understand some of the frustrations with that because like with my home node, it's on a pole. Taking it down is a pain. And I run for all my solar nodes, I run the uh, rack whiz blocks. And those are the NRF52 devices. I can connect to that via Bluetooth and do an over the air OTA firmware update. Now, I recently just learned how to do this. I should have learned it a long time ago, but um, I, I was doing the hard way where I would finally get tired of it running on older versions and, you know, go get it down, you know, connect it to a laptop and update the firmware, which is a pain. Uh, I, I completely agree with you there. So uh, if you're interested in that and you want to know how to do it, I have a video I'll link over here that I go through the process for Android users. There is uh, information for Apple users on the mestastic.org website. If you want to stay up to date with what's going on with the firmware, the number one place you can go is GitHub, the Mestastic firmware release. Uh, they have notes over there that talk about what's changed, what bugs have been fixed, so on and so forth. Understand the developers, the contributors over there are doing this out of basically passion for Mestastic. I believe there is absolutely zero monetary compensation. Now, as they roll into potentially the Mestastic Solutions project, that might change a little bit. I don't think that will come back to the user except for maybe an increased cost in the radios because the manufacturers will need to buy a license for Mestastic to have it on their devices. So, but in the end state of that is a actual full-blown stable version that maybe you don't have to update, but once a year or something like that, instead of, you know, every month or so. So if you found this video useful, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, check out our website, social media links down below, affiliate links, details about this video, links for information I discussed in this video, and stay tuned and thanks for watching.